Now we have a tale of two men. On the left, the Richard Dumas, who made a name for himself on one of the all-time great Phoenix Suns teams. And on the right, the Richard Dumas, accused by U.S. Marshals of stealing hundreds of dollars worth of stuff from a military exchange store at Luke Air Force Base. Tonight, the real Richard Dumas stands up, granting us the first interview since his arrest. Karen Brown is live with this story that you will only see on 3TV. Karen, what do you have to say? Well, Kerry and Fields, we are outside where Dumas has just wrapped up his youth basketball practice, and he says the hardest part about spiraling down into addiction is the fact that people have been judging him on his mistakes rather than all the good he's been doing. When you see Richard Dumas's monster dunk, what shot won't go, Dumas? It's easy to see he's still number 21. Get by, lay it up. When you watch him coaching his Warriors team, you can see the former son still loves the game. I had an up and down life, but for me, basketball was like an escape. On the court, I feel free, like nothing can bother me. But when you see this video from 2012 of Dumas allegedly shoplifting while on a janitorial job, it's also easy to see his struggles. Then I'm a good person. I made a mistake, but I'm not going to let that keep me down. My understanding is you tried alcohol at the age of five. <laughs> yes. So what do you hope to teach these kids? Really to follow down my footsteps, the positive side, and plus learn from the negative things that I've done. Not to dwell on it, not to let it beat them up. Understand what happened, move forward in life and learn from that lesson. In the early 90s, Dumas was a star until drugs and alcohol ruined his career. He now helps run Dumas and Friends Athletic Association, which not only teaches basketball, I'm go a little faster than you. but schools its players on how to give back by volunteering, this time at a Sun City food bank. It's got to keep the faith and keep moving on and do stuff that help other people, which in turn helps me. Addiction is not an easy thing. No, it's not. I think that's what a lot of people don't understand. That. They just look at it as just a bad person or this or that. No, it's a disease. It's like cancer or something. I mean, you're going to be mad at me because I have cancer. Right. He still has to face the shoplifting charges, but Dumas pours all his energy into his kids. Well, one hope to keep him out of trouble and give him a way to hopefully to get into college. His nickname is still tattooed on his leg, but now that namesake dunk is about a whole lot more. What's more rewarding for you, that Game 5 NBA championship or seeing the difference you're making for these kids? Oh, definitely the difference in my making the kids. Definitely that, because that, that's, that's, that's going to keep going and going forever. All right, and just for the record, he does still get a big smile on his face when he talks about that Game 5 where he had 25 points. He also gets a big smile when he talks about his two sons, one who works in an elderly home back in Oklahoma and another who is serving in Afghanistan. His next court date is February 14th. Reporting live in Goodyear, I'm Karen Brown. Now back to you. And Karen, just to be clear, he could face jail time for these charges that are against him. Yeah, in fact, his attorney said he couldn't actually talk about those incidents during this interview, but he was really open about the struggles that he has been facing as far as his addiction. He says now he knows when he needs a drink, he turns to his support group and uh, gets surrounded by positive people. He says it took him a long time to learn that, but he said better late than never. All right, Karen, thank you very much.